in this example, we have a fraction on the right hand side. What I said in the previous example about what is being done on the left hand side must be done on the right hand side is extremely important in this situation. Let's firstly multiply both sides by 3 minus p so that we can try and eliminate the denominator on the right hand side. I'm going to put everything in brackets so it's made a bit easier. So let's do 3 minus p equals brackets 2 plus x 3 minus p 3 minus p. As we've multiplied both sides by 3 minus p, you can see that these will cancel out. So now we can expand the brackets, do c times 3, which is 3c, and c times minus p, which is minus cp. This would then be, uh, this would then leave 2 plus x on the right hand side. We can now minus 3c from both sides. So you're going to get 3c minus 3c minus cp equals 2 plus x minus 3c. These will cancel out and you're left now with minus cp equals 2 plus x minus 3c. If we divide both sides by minus c, we can eliminate the minus c that's stuck to the p here. These will cancel out, and we now have our solution of p equals 2 plus x minus 3c divided by minus c.